Welcome to Tech Interview Hub. Hey Anandu, let's start the interview. Can you write one object there? Const object and give any two properties, two or three properties. Uh, so Anandu, uh, how can you check, I, I mean, how do you check if a particular property exists in an, in this object? Like suppose uh, if we have to check if name is a part of this object or not. How do you check that? Uh, that... Uh, uh, uh... Uh, so we we know that name is there, right? Yes. Uh, so that we can uh, like uh, we can check whether that name in uh, OBJ like that. Yeah, that's one way. And um, can you tell uh, me one to, more one other way? Uh, that uh, property that uh, that's the hidden built one is there like uh like a, a has on property that. Yeah. Correct. That one. So can you write it? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, can I just console it there? Or... Yes, please. Oh. What it will give? Uh, my colleague's name. Uh, like, oh, sorry, uh, it will give that uh, that name is there. So it will give true. Boolean value. You can run the code. Okay. There is one more way, Anandu. I mean, we uh, can find out using object dot keys as well. Like okay. you have to use uh, okay. object dot keys, and you will pass the object there, and then you can use dot includes property because object dot keys will give you all the keys from your object, so name, place, and company. And on okay. that uh, array, you can use includes property. And you can pass name, place, or company, whatever you wanted to check, whether that property exists in that object or not. In that way, okay, also right. we oh. can get the result. Okay, that's like like uh, object of keys in that key. Okay. If oh. you want to try, you can try. And you will pass the object there. Yeah. Just pass the object, which will give you an array of keys name, oh, okay. place, and company. Oh, now okay. you will use, uh, now you have to use includes property on it. Not includes, and you can check whether name is there, place or company. You can check for any property. Oh, okay, okay. Got it. If we if we have this object there, let me ask one more thing related to the same. Uh, okay. How do you remove specific property from that object? Uh, to remove. Suppose you have to remove place from object. How do you remove that? Uh, which one a uh, place right yeah uh, the, uh, like a uh, delete one is there delete property yes uh, so delete yes. keyword yeah yeah yes you can write dot uh, place yeah that's correct remember i shared you one array could you please copy it and paste it here so if you see in this array, we have some real numbers, some numerical strings, a null, not a number, undefined, empty array is there. So what okay. you have to do, you have to find out the sum of all the real numbers. Okay, sum of this one, the 10, 5, and sum 2. Sum of all here. the real numbers. So the sum should be 10 plus 5.5 .5 plus 2. Okay, okay. Could you please comment out the other code? Can I trade them or uh, like uh, using the reduce method? You can use reduce, you can use for loop. Oh. But how will you find out the real numbers? So by using that for loop, uh, can check the yeah, you can it. use for yeah, you can use for you can use reduce method, anything you are comfortable with. Well, this finite method uh... How will it work? Okay, Anandu? we can. Uh, so we are trying to add into like a mm -hmm. uh, to get a variable like to come here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then this finite method. Mm -hmm. uh, it will check whether it's uh, whether it's a number. It should or be number there. of I know. It should be numbers of I know. Uh, okay. Um. Yeah, 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 number yes. eleven. Yes. 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 It won't work like that, Anandu. You have to check number dot is finite and then you have to pass your number. Uh, like, uh, 
like means i was checking i was looking to check like mm -hmm. this like uh, within this array this is this. should be number dot okay. is finite and then you have to pass num so five in that okay. then uh this adding yeah now you have to add the console it Now let me add one more case here. Now we have to include numeric string as well. Twenty and forty should get included there. Uh, the string also. Yes, because number dot is finite. No, we give you parsing. Uh, you can parse it. Mm -hmm. uh, like uh, parse, uh, parse float or something like that. We can add here. Uh, like uh, number, we can use. Uh, like uh, you can store it in a variable. Using number. Yes, that's what we have to do. Yeah. Oh, oh. Can you console and check this too. Yeah. Well, what do you understand from this output? Um uh, all everything. Yeah. Whatever numeric strings are there, they're converted to the numbers. Okay. Now what will you do? You already solved the question. Why you are confused? Uh, no, actually, a number uh, we have got here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you just have to pass and that number yes, inside the yeah. is finite. No, not like that. No. Uh, okay, okay, is finite. Uh... No, modify line number 13 as well, please. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's working now? Yes, it so we have an array of objects where some objects share the same id okay like if oh, you see okay. id1 and id2 so what you okay. have to do you have to write a function to remove those duplicates and return an array with unique ids only so the output should be id1 id2 id3 and id4 means okay and that uh, unique id only yeah so, unique id only okay the condition is if duplicate exists, no, you have to keep the first occurrence only. Okay, that, that means the output should be like, like this. Yeah, the output should be like this. Okay. Use the filter method. Filter method. Okay, go with it. You can uh, use a filter method here. Okay. And uh, can use that uh, in, like uh, index and value, uh, like uh, for each iteration, we can get that uh, like uh, that uh, ID yeah, and value. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Index. How do you filter the next occurrence? Um, uh, so just thinking about uh, using that uh, using using a self uh, self parameter also here. Which parameter? A self one self. The third parameter is array. First is the item, second is index, third you will get array there. Yeah, means that's a, means the same one also. That, yeah, that, that's the same, same array. Yes, yes, the same array you get there. Uh, can you say self here? Self method. Yeah, fine. Okay. Uh, then that uh, index, I need to compare with the uh, arrays index. Okay. Like, you uh, can say, uh, it's a method called uh, like a find index method. Mm -hmm. So we okay. can compare with these two. Mm -hmm. Okay. Index equal to echo to self dot find uh, uh, Then inside this, uh, we can check whether that ID is equal to the uh, items ID. Yeah, like... yeah, go ahead. You can run it. Oh. Bracket is missing. Oh. Can you solve using okay. set method as well? Okay, I'll turn. Let me define set here. Mm -hmm. 
So you're using for a flu, right? Yeah, for me. Okay. Yes. We're not declaring it like let cons for war. Oh, oh. Uh, that uh, array has so that uh, mm -hmm. you check whether that set has has method. Yes. Instead of I can you uh, write their item. Oh okay. okay. Uh, just that check with the item here. Mm -hmm. The item is an entire object, Anandu. Yes, yes. Uh, it's a full... You have to check item dot id. Okay. Okay. So if, if that has that, um, what is negation condition there? So okay, okay. yes, yes. It can use that. Sorry. Uh, we can yeah. say if that is not there, if the item is not mm -hmm. there, then you can uh, push we it. We can push it in the set. Yes. Uh, uh, add method there. Add. 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 Not push. Yeah. Uh, item that item enter item is pushed. item dot id is fine okay not it and then uh, push into no need, of self, no need no. of self condition no. because we are already using the negation condition there okay. below line so number about... 29 you can write you can pass the same item to your result array just push result dot push item let's console it Oh, Anandu, right. what is the main difference between local storage and session storage? Uh, local storage actually we can uh, like uh, within that browser we store that value. Okay, and what about uh, session? Session storage and uh, like from the back end uh, we can uh, store that value. Uh, make, because uh, this uh, local storage actually uh, it is actually it. visible. Mm -hmm. Okay. Session storage is uh, also session, visible. Means local storage actually it stays permanently. Uh, okay. Session storage we can have that uh, uh, like a session okay. timer. Suppose I created a local storage and close the browser, and again I reopened it. Will the local storage data persist? Uh, means you uh, once uh, opened that and then uh, closed First it. First I right? created the local storage. Okay. Okay. Then I close the browser window. Oh, okay. Again, okay. again I open the browser. Will the local storage data persist? Again, yes, uh, local storage will be there. Okay. And what if I open multiple tabs with same URL? Will you be able to access the local storage data across all tabs? Uh, I guess we can uh, can uh, get that. <laughs> okay. Now regarding session storage, uh, okay. will you be able to access the session storage data in another tab, tab of same browser? Uh, the session, new, new tab, right? Yeah, suppose you have created a session storage, okay? okay? And now you have opened a new tab. Will you be able to access the session storage data there as well? In the second tab? The session storage data, the, uh, new tab. I don't think we can uh, get that. So what are all hooks you have worked with, Anandu? Uh, like a uh, use effect, uh, mm -hmm. use ref, then uh, like other uh, the, the, the other one like use state uh, and uh, 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 like okay. use callbacks, use memo. That all I worked. So what is the difference between state and ref? Uh, state actually that means use state and use ref, right? Yeah. Uh, means I used it actually uh, for storing that value, like set state, we can uh, mm -hmm. store our values and all. And use ref actually it will uh, reference uh, to a particular mm -hmm. element. Uh, like in uh, use ref, in uncontrolled, like un 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 uncontrolled component example comes in use ref. Uh, like what is uncontrolled? Was, what does it mean by uncontrolled? Uh, component? Like, like, uh, we we have because we are not setting that state for that. It internally uh, that DOM mm -hmm. is controlling that. 
we uh, we actually reference that element and then that dom internally works on that okay this pure component a uh, pure component uh, like uh, we don't have any uh, like changes will uh, mm -hmm. uh, like the changes uh, it will mm -hmm. not get affected like that uh, any state or prop changes yes, yes. let me ask you one scenario yes. okay we have a parent component like in this case you can consider it as a app user parent component okay this app function oh. and it returns a child component below line number 6 yeah you can just write there child right below line number 4 inside that const array equals to 1 2 3 4 okay pass this static array to your child component so my question is somehow some reason suppose our parent component is re-rendering okay and consider your okay. child component is pure component which we have wrapped with to consider which we have wrapped with react dot memo okay. so if we wrapped a component with react dot memo it will be treated as a pure component right yeah okay so just consider that so suppose our parent component is re-rendering will it trigger the child component to re-render in this case uh Yeah, actually, we have not set that uh, like render memo. Mm -hmm. So it will yeah, we are not that. setting. Yeah, but we are passing static array, no? Yeah, actually, here that the point is when the parent is uh, rendering, at that time mm -hmm. child will also keep rendering when that changes. Why it will render? Because we have a, a React dot memo. We have wrapped our component with React dot memo, no? Okay, okay, we have wrapped that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, in consider, that case, consider. that's what I was okay, saying. Okay, 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 okay. Mm -hmm. In that case, if the child is wrapped in the uh, it dot memo, mm -hmm. uh, then uh, whenever changes when this all when child is all when the changes is happening there only at that time only that will render. Otherwise, it will not render. So here in this case, what do you think? Will it re-render or not? I mean, will it uh, render the child component or not? Uh, in this case, uh. uh So actually, we are uh, actually we are considering that the change is happening only in the parent one. Yes. Uh, so no, will not. It will render. It will trigger the okay. child component to render because we are passing array there. Arrays are reference type. When you declare the array inside the component, a new array gets created on every render. So even though the values are same, the reference is different each time. since react dot memo compares props by reference it sees new array reference and treats it as a prop change so the child component will re-render again okay okay this is case only for the array part right? array and object objects okay. both okay yeah that's it anandu thank you so much